श्री श्री आनंदमयी मात की जय वन इवनिंग अ वुमेन केम टू मी एंड सेड माँ आई हैव ब्रॉट अ कैरिज यू मस्ट कम टू माय होम दिस बॉडी वॉज वॉकिंग इन द नाट मंदिर एंड फेल्ट एन इम्पल्स टू अवॉइड एक्सेप्टिंग हर रिक्वेस्ट दस आई रेजिस्टेड बींग प्रेस्ड बाय द वुमेन टू अकम्पनी हर एंड द वर्ड नो केम फ्रॉम माई लिप्स not succeeding in persuading this body this woman went to bhulanath who asked her the reason for her insistence she replied my eldest son is very sick i have come with the hope that i can take ma to see him when bhulanath related this to me i replied spontaneously he is not going to recover bhulanath was initially silent but then said how shall i tell her this what is to be done now she is certainly not going to leave without you jyotish who was present was also in a dilemma this body then said all right let's go it crossed her mind that the boy was destined to meet her before he died and was eager for her touch where there is death there too only i exists actually there is no question of life and death what are life and death merely a change of clothes or you can even think of death and birth as going from one room to another it is man's ignorance that prevents him from comprehending this even though this boy was not going to recover why should i not go there this body got ready to go however after hearing that the boy was not going to recover bholanath was now reluctant about going he and jyotish were busy discussing what those people might say later and whether it would be correct to go to their home under the circumstances jyotish said if ma has decided to go she most certainly will do so a little later bholanath and i got into the carriage when suddenly two or three dogs appeared in front and started barking furiously the frightened horses refused to start but finally we were able to go and see the boy not long afterward the boy's condition took a turn for the worse and again his mother came with the carriage and wept he is in critical condition and wants to see you you must come bholanath and i went as we were about to enter their home someone bowed to me in those days a strange feeling would come over me if someone did this to me i would try to bow back that day i sat on the door step before rising to meet the boy his mother beseeched me please save us from this predicament we shall not let you leave tell us what to do and we shall follow your instructions to the letter bholanath also kept insisting then these words came out spontaneously will you do exactly what this body tells you to will you be able to all right then confine him to this bed for 18 days and ensure that he does not leave it will you remember that the mother accepted this condition calmly with her head lowered at the time of our leaving the boy weeping bitterly said ma i cannot bear the suffering any longer it matters not whether i live or die i want peace we received news of the boy regularly we had heard that the disease had abated a little when one day his mother came and said that although he had been improving his condition now seemed to have taken a turn for the worse this body said automatically on monday there was a lapse in following this body's instructions on the morning of 18th day the boy died the mother cried my son cannot die I have followed Ma's instructions exactly. You cannot take him to the cremation ground. 
like one who is insane she came running frantically to shahabag from about 4 o'clock that morning this body was divinely absorbed and could not get up the mother continued to weep inconsolably and bolana tried but failed to awaken me after a while the woman's family arrived and took her away forcefully because they could no longer delay the last rites the grief stricken mother admonished everyone ma's words are not correct no one should go to her a couple of months later she returned remorsefully crying ma please forgive me your instructions were not followed to the letter and that led to our misfortune one monday i went down to the lower floor of the house and the boy was alone during that time he called out to me to bring in the logs of wood set out to dry on the roof but the roof was not visible from his room it did not occur to me then that the only way he could see it would be if he had gotten out of bed you gave us your blessings but such was our bad luck that we could not avail it shri shri anandamayi mat ki jai